a phenomenon witnessed only about a dozen times in the last century. Uh, we've marveled at this for days now. Locals say the, the water started to drain into the sinkhole on Monday morning. Environmentalists say this happens so infrequently and it's really hard to believe just how big of a change can happen so quickly. For the first time in nearly a decade, this the view of the Lake Jackson horizon. That should all be water. Everywhere that you see brown in these little creeks, that should be like legit. That's, that's, that should look like this. Because they get trapped and you give them about two days where these fish haven't eaten. Like they haven't been able to feed like they used to and they're all trapped. I stopped what I was doing to come down here. So. Basically, we are here at uh, Lake Jackson, Tallahassee, Florida, and a sinkhole opened up last night. This happened once before, like 13 years ago. People came out here and were picking up 16 pounder, the biggest of 16 pound bass in a bucket. They were picking up 10s, 12s, like it was nothing. This has opened up a ton of crazy fishing opportunities. The water levels are down, a ton of like new little ponds and rivers and stuff where these bass are freaking out, probably feeding up. It could be crazy. It looks like they're already going, so I'm gonna go grab my rod. Let's go explore. <laughs> so right now, guys, we're headed to Little River, which is like the, the, the nickname. And I guess this place has been cut off because of the sinkhole has dried up this part. And a lot of the fish on like half the lake should be trapped somewhere around here so we're just gonna keep on walking i don't know what this video is gonna be <laughs> this is not planned just came out here because we heard a phone call that lake's gone look at this this was lily pad fields big bass all in them and now they're all gone the only place they could have gone one is in the sinkhole and they're gone who knows where the sinkhole leads i don't know how sinkholes really work or two they're trapped in these little ponds that the sinkhole has now made so this has gotta have something in it right only one way to find out That's a good one! Bro! Let's freaking go! Devin! <laughs> no way! I don't know what everyone else has tied on. I just found a little Guggen popper in the back of Yak's truck, tied it on, second cast out here, just blown up on. Guys, there's currently a helicopter flying. Don't he's actually sense. getting close now. Like he's literally right where he, we're. Well, he, he flew right over. Me again, right? He's got the the, the sheriff like star on the side too. If you see it. Yeah. Oh, he waved. Oh, he waved. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we're walking away from the fishing spots we were just at. We figured out, we checked our phones, why there's helicopters and like literally nine police cars over there. They found two human skulls on Sunday while bringing attention to a lake dry down. That's because of two sinkholes under it. And when that happens, it uncovers the secrets beyond the water, like those two skulls. We're just, uh, we're gonna walk away now. <laughs> Yesterday, the sinkhole opened up, and little did we know when we were out here fishing, dude, we were fishing the puddles. We were about 50 yards away from a uh, from a murder scene, and luckily we trusted our instincts. Yeah. And we were like, "There's nine police cars over there, a helicopter, a police helicopter. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta get out of here." We thought when we were out here that we were like trespassing because yeah. like it's a public lake, it's Lake Jackson, guys. So we left, but little did we know when we did leave, they found two bodies in the sinkhole. When we were at the boat ramp, we figured that out. Yeah. Yakpak and I thought, okay, somebody fell into the sinkhole. Like people fell That's into the I sinkhole. Explore, yeah. But guys, it's quite literally like, they found skeletons. Skeletal remains. Yeah, yeah, and it was a, a murder scene from years ago because this sinkhole has been open for like 16 years and people came out here. And I guess like the murderer came out here and hid the bodies and, yeah, and sunk them yeah. in the sinkhole. Yeah. So guys, right behind me here is the sinkhole. It's probably about a hundred yards long and like 50 yards deep, not including like all of Lake Jackson has basically been sucked into a underground river. But basically when it opened, the police pretty much instantly found the remains of the yeah. murder case, the skeletons, and they actually already arrested the person who murdered them, yeah. which is good, because now the families are closer, you know, and they can probably properly bury them now. I don't yeah. know. So it's a good thing that the sinkhole opened up, not really for Lake Jackson as a whole, yeah. like the fishing, now all the fish are trapped in puddles. We're probably gonna have to come out here and do a fish rescue. There's people down inside of the sinkhole, this bro. This is the inside of, of it. Florida. <laughs> yeah, this is your Florida man, your Florida woman, your Florida boys. This is this is it. Welcome, yeah. welcome. So guys, you're allowed to like cross the uh, the caution tape here. It's, it just says enter at your own risk, basically. Any of this ground could drop at 
any time in the sinkhole. That's how sinkholes work. I guess all this is unstable ground and it could collapse. But we're coming out here getting content for you guys. So when I was in jungle school, we did this because a lot of guys were getting hurt on the mountains in Hawaii and they were having to pull them up because we couldn't get ambulances and stuff like that and you know rescue teams. So I think they were down in the sinkhole pretty much. Yeah. So what they did was they would lower somebody down on the police helicopter that you guys saw. They would lower a person down and he would strap to the remains of you know whatever and then they yeah. pull it both back up. Dude, there's dead nice. fish all in there. So, unless those are bubbles. I can smell it, man. Yeah. It smells thick. Oh, it's, it's disgusting. Holy cow. And guys, this is the biggest sequel I've seen in my life. It's crazy how we would be standing right now in about... 13? Like 13 foot of water. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like I'm at the canyons right now, but we're on like the bottom of a lake. So we've already seen some people with nets and some of the puddles around here. We're gonna go scout the lake. Because, I mean, or what's left of the lake, because it's basically gone. It's crazy to think, like, what's going on here. This is just, I don't even know what to say, because it's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And it's crazy. We were just out here fishing the puddles, you know, thinking nothing was going on. And then we walk over here, and it's crazy. So, you guys, right here, this used to be the boat pass. And now what is zero water used to be about 14 foot. We used to, as a kid, I would come out here and kneeboard, wakeboard, inner tube down this lane. And now there's no water here. It's just weird, man. Like, it really is just weird. Basically, the sequel was created probably, like, 15 ponds out of a massive lake. There's a pond behind us here that we might try fishing in like a future video. This puddle right here only had like three fish in it and it's massive, but it's just like two inches deep. Yeah, we're just trying to find a mud puddle with a ton of fish in it. Dude, look at that. There's a fish literally chasing bait out of the water, right like right there to the right. You see that wake? Something just swirled right here. We're walking in the middle of one of like the 10 ponds that have been created out here. Guys, so we might even grab the fishing rods, try to catch some of these fish and relocate them to a, a different spot, somewhere deeper because I mean, there's thousands that we've seen fish scales, thousands of dead fish. There's so much to do, and I don't know what, where to go from here. Sinkholes to explore, mud puddles to jump in. Like where, okay, in the comment section, please tell us. Where does the water go? Is the or, does the earth, does the earth just absorb it? I remember learning about it in fifth grade, and I don't remember what I learned. This lake is massive, and for it to go down 14 foot in the matter of one night, and all this water just be gone, that sinkhole just drained this lake quick. That's crazy. So we're the, we're, we were in what in. used to be the deepest part of the lake, yeah, right there, which in. has now been just absolutely annihilated because the sinkhole was right next to the deepest part of the lake. So it's literally erased the lake in a matter of a day. Oh, what would you do if there was a volcanic explosion of water? <laughs> <laughs> like the water oh, Lake Jackson came back. <laughs> I came back, dude, we'd be swimming. <laughs> this really is only gonna last for a week before everything's gone. I mean, puddles that apparently were here a couple hours ago are already gone, so. It's crazy, man. Crazy out here. So hear me out. <laughs> that is deep. Okay, let me get back behind you. All right, let me pull. Oh, oh, oh. Your boy about lost it back there. Yeah, I've been needing a new boat seat for the boat. Hold up. We want to just, it's like pick and pull, like lake edition out here. <laughs> this will do. That'll do. That's I the one. This is nice. We're keeping that one. Yo, that's a bass right there. No. Is it not? That's a bass right there. Oh, dude, man. oh my gosh. Rim or fat, dude. dude, that's right, a bass dude. right there too. This is why it stank earlier. Wow. Oh my god. Look at these dead fish. Bass, so bass, bass. Oh, this bluegill's still alive. No way. Oh, dude, yes, he is. Oh my gosh. It's a chunk, dude. Dude, dude tra transfer. Wait, that's a slab bluegill too. Yeah. That's a big one. Stop, stop. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save you. Stop. <laughs> I'm here. I'm your friend. Oh. Golly. All right, guys, so we're going to let this bluegill go. Here, let's do Paul. We're going to come do a fish rescue here later, but I just don't have anything to move him all the way to a new lake right now. So we moved him. He was literally sitting in an inch of water, and we're going to throw him out here. So, see you, buddy. We're going to wrap this video up here. We're covered in mud. There's fish that need to be rescued. That is for another video. So, guys, subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss our fish rescues. We're going to film a ton of videos out here and explore every single puddle. I mean, there's axolotls in the water. Who knows what else is in the water? We're going to rescue everything, get it cooler, and bring them to a new lake. Maybe even restock some uh, some popular YouTubers' ponds with these fish that aren't going to make it. I mean, like 90% of the fish in here are dead already. I wish we would have got, like, they, I don't know. This thing cool was crazy. So, anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to sign you off. So much has happened. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have no clue what it ended up like. Epic bass action, axolotl action, sinkhole action. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next fishing venture, fish bump, I'm out of here.